Hey! We're here again! It's not an addiction. It might be an addiction. Can we hear Maybe ourselves? Maybe just a little bit. It might be an addiction. Yeah, we, we can, can stop hear anytime we We're want. Good. I know what I know what I'm doing. Alright. <laughs> Oh, also, um, the stream title didn't change for some reason. It didn't change? I no! Got it, I got it. I got it. I can change it. I'm, I'm in the OBS. I can change it. Scary. <laughs> Gourmet. Done. Okay. I changed it last night. I don't know why I did that. Hmm, that's weird. Anyways. We know All what right. we're doing. You're professionals. We're, well, okay, but I'm not the technical manager, so I can't blame myself. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh no, what did I do? I broke everything. Oh. Cool. So, we are here today with Scary Gourmet, which looks to be a very cute looking furry game. I'm going to say furry game. Please correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a furry <laughs> game. Um, and it's very inclusive, which is kind of expected and... I don't know. But, yeah! Um, and I am very excited to play it. Uh, I don't think there are any voice acting lines inside of it, so we were told we can go crazy and do our own little voice acting lines. I saw this background being made inside the Game Jam page, um, the Discord, when when I was just like looking through and seeing everything and with how much detail was going into all of these, I was very drawn to the project. Um, I like that chubby it's bottle really of cute. spooky dish soap. Is that spooky dish soap? It is spooky dish soap. Is it? It's, your, your stream is paused on my end on Discord, so I can't see it. It, it is? Oh, hold on. Yeah, because um, you tabbed out of it, I think. There? Is it back? There we go. Is it back? Are we good? Uh, briefly, yeah. Briefly oh, or not? <laughs> it still says that it's paused, but I can see it. Okay. It shouldn't be doing that. There we go. But then I can't see the <gasps> screen. So, so oh, so. okay. <laughs> um, okay. So there's a cute little jack-o'-lantern here and some other things. I really like the details on this page, including how close the, the, the way that the light is on the background. It's really nice. It's really pretty. Um, so do we have anything we want to say before we begin? Okay. Is the music too loud or are we all good? Uh, I can hear it good. Uh, how about the stream? How does everyone feel? Everything good? Yeah, the coffin window is pretty amazing. Coffin window is cute. Alright. I'm just going to turn it down a tiny bit more. And then we're going to hit start. So, who's doing uh, narrator today? I don't know. How do you feel? Well... I did narrator uh, for the last one. You did one for a very long one. So you know what? All right. I'll take it. Okay. Ahead of us was a more eventful night than most, as Halloween drew closer by the, ha the hour. Very few children dared to venture to the graveyard our little home was located in. Still, I procured some snacks to keep them occupied should they come to our door regardless. It was always best to be prepared in such eventualities. The sound of chopping filled the kitchen, I'm already concerned, and the windows rattled ever so slightly as wind blew past. The house was dark, but my husband and I had a preference for the darkness, though each for different reasons. Alright, who's Wingston? Is it Wingston who was talking? I don't know. I think Wingston's the narrator? Wingston who was talking. The I think so. The text looks the same color. That's true. That could be. Text that could be. Hmm. This doesn't look quite right. I don't know what to do for a bat. There's not. I, I don't have anything batty. Um. Hmm. This doesn't look quite right. But perhaps it will cook down a bit once it, it's in the oven. I lifted. Okay, yeah. So they are in there. I lifted a okay. small cut of pumpkin to my red eyes and blinked over it carefully. I'd had pumpkin before, of course, but seeing raw ingredients made me wonder if somehow I'd gotten it wrong. And on top of that, this needed to be vegan pumpkin pie, which threw a lot of in that, eh, which threw a lot of my limited cooking knowledge out the window as it was. The rest of the mix was ready, as was the crust in the oven, but the eventual but the actual pumpkin just didn't seem correct. Oh, I don't know anymore. 
How are you supposed to mash pumpkin anyways? The cookbook says to remove the seeds, but surely a few here and there won't hurt, right? With a sniff of the off with the sniff of the offending fruit, I popped it in my mouth, chewing it over a little. The texture was completely horrid, and the seed pieces were, indeed, far too crunchy. I swallowed and nearly gagged, oh, as it traveled down to my stomach, leaving me shudder leaving me to shudder from the flavor. Oh, that's not good at all. But we don't have time to waste. She'll be arriving in an hour or so. Look at the sprite and get the <laughs> That was so cute. With a sigh, I thoroughly whisked the whole thing together. Thankfully, nobody in our household was much of a picky eater, so a few minor mistakes wouldn't put out the whole meal. I'm going to be talking a lot. I just realized yeah, probably. this. With a click, I popped the whole pie into the oven, wiping some sweat from my brow in the process. Okay, there's a sound effect. Nice. Cute. A creaking carried through the house, followed by a slam of a screen door. With a start... I jumped back up to the little workstation at the counter at the countertop, trying to stay casual, but unable to suppress my grin as my partner walked into the kitchen, grocery bags ruffling. Why does this sound like the beginning of a... <laughs> there you go. You're Bartholomew. <gasps> oh my god, he already looks you like a himbo. You get to be Bone Daddy. He already looks like a himbo. Whew. Hey babe, got everything I needed from the store. Cauliflower, extra firm tofu, the whole list. Oh, thank you, Barky. You really saved me on this one. Somehow the main course completely slipped my mind this morning, and I got straight into making dessert. Oh, of course. You gotta make this whole thing perfect for our little Bella, right? Yes, but... Well, I love you too, hon. A wag of the tail and a peck on the cheek from my favoritist Bark... Okay, I, what is that word? Is it bark? It bar, barhest? It's it's a ghost barhest? word. It's a ghost word. I know that's a ghost word. I'm not. Lifted my spirits a good deal. You don't know that one either? I'm Googling it. I'm looking it up now, yeah. Barghest. In folklore of northern England, a monstrous goblin dog that only appears at night. Huh. That's cool. Bargist, Northern Bargist. England. Okay, yep, Bargist. Cool. Perfect. A wag of the tail and a peck on the cheek from my favorite Bargast lifted my spirits a good deal. He held me from behind for a moment, and I let myself rest my head against his chest, swaying back and forth with his rhythm. Aw, they definitely are gay. That's so gay. That's so cute. That's so gay. <laughs> it had been a stressful day, and preparing for our daughter Bella had come to come home had frayed my nerves far more than I could have ever anticipated. She had left just a few months ago, and while it was nice having the house to ourselves, it felt much emptier without her here. On top of that, she seemed to be changing pretty quickly. Just a couple weeks after starting the semester, she started to prefer vegan meals going forward. She didn't ask us to make her homecoming dinner vegan. She she didn't ask yeah she didn't ask us to make her homecoming coming dinner vegan as well, and had even she didn't ask us to huh. and i'd even emphasized that she was fine with us following our own diets okay i get it now oh, there you go. but ultimately she was our daughter and we wanted to support her no matter what it was just my reading comprehension going out the window <laughs> same i'm glad she was willing to come home for di come by for dinner tonight especially with those no fr new friends she's been making and a new girlfriend apparently tail wag look tail wag the tail wag <laughs> Right, exactly. It's just nice. It's just nice that she'll spend the night with her old dads. <laughs> We're not too old yet, I hope. I nod with a chuckle. As I laid out each ad additional ingredient, I also found a small pepper bag wrapped around a large bottle. I slid the wrapper off and held the bottle, my smile widening as I took an in the label. Oh, honey, you didn't. Whoops, guess you saw my little surprise. Look at this surprise face. Aww. Blood wine? And an A positive vintage, too? Oh, it's been Aww. too long since we had some at home. Oh, that's adorable. Dear, you shouldn't. Of course I should have. You've been so worried, so I thought you could, you know, pop a glass or two once dinner's over, curl up, put on a movie. 
Oh, maybe have a Halloween date night. Alright. And, and, I know Bella's vegan these days, but she's not of age anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. It was very thoughtful, sweetie. But we need to get through dinner first and foremost. They're so cute. Spooky ringtone. That's so cute. Bartholomew's, Bartholomew's, Bartholomew's ears perked up at the personalized ringtone, and his spectral body shimmered with surprise. He reached into his jeans and pulled out his phone, already giddy with excitement. Speak of the devil. Here, I'll put her on video so we can all chat. Oh. I'll, do you want me to do Bella? Yeah, because I'm doing you're already so doing a bunch much. of narration. <laughs> this is, Hi, Dad! Really cute. Hope you're ready for a spooky as heck Halloween. God damn it. Um, that's really cute. I really I like that. I love that. That was well done. That is I like the little green around the, the edges to make it more, like, glowy and spooky. Yeah, that's so cool. Bella, honey, how are you? Everything okay? Your flight arrive on time and all that? Oh, do you perchance need us to come pick you up? Those rideshare apps that you kids use these days- You kids, oh, I feel that. I uh, oh. use these days seems- <laughs> Why do I always get the person who hates themselves because they're old? <laughs> Those rideshare apps you kids these days seem so sketchy to me. It's perfectly fine if you'd rather have someone tr you trust come get you. Tad, come on. I can handle finding my own way home. Besides, I've already got it all handled. We're already en route right now. We? Oh, I told you bef before about Mozzie, right? <gasps> Mozzie's the girlfriend. <laughs> the cute little, little guy. Lassie, say hi to my dads. <laughs> Aww. Ah, they're so cute. You're also Mozzie. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm taking them all. I'm taking the whole family. I've got uh, the hardest one. Hello? There you we go. You can call me Mothican or Mozzie, whatever you prefer. That's what you're going for? All right. You Listen, stuck I gotta to make it. them all distinct somehow. You've stuck to it, so that is the voice now. You've got I can hear the strain that it causes. <laughs> ah, not particularly, but Oh yes, she's the friend you made during your nutritionist course, right? She's majoring in sports science as well. Not quite. She's on the applied witching track. Her family kinda has a tradition of producing witches. And actually, she's also the girlfriend I've been telling you about. We started dating a few weeks ago. <laughs> Aww, she's so cute. Anyway, her family was busy doing some kind of big boring witching event or whatever. The annual witching hour. Yes, it's not exactly tedious, but flying in a broom in the autumn evening can be terribly exhausting. I'd much prefer to spend the night in. I understand. I get it. Same. <laughs> so I told her to come with me for the holiday. I have a so feeling that like my character right now is like, you didn't tell me! Now I have to cook another course! <laughs> so sorry to impose like this. Bella said it would be okay for me to come by. Yeah, see? Well, it's a little last minute. But if you're already here, I suppose we can make it work! <laughs> Yay! Echo we'll be in there in about 30 noises. minutes. I should probably get back to watching the road. You're not watching the road! <laughs> Love you both. Why aren't you watching the road? <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> Well, that's Bella for you. As spontaneous as ever, right, babe? I am already worried for this child. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I have tears in my eyes again. I can't do anything without crying from laughter. Oh my god. Bartholomew's jubilant, <laughs> jubilant, re ah, ju jubilant response was somehow was somewhat lost to me, as I had already dived back into the kitchen and was pilfering through our pantry for any culinary <laughs> alternatives. We only had half an hour. See, I told you, this is exactly what they're doing. 
They're panicking. That's oh fair. dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh. Uh, babe. Glasses and bottles clinked together as I jumped up to higher shelves. My stool never reached quite high enough back here, and at 49 I wasn't half as nimble as I was. Oh. The panic started swirling through my mind. What a cutie. Maybe we can still make this work. A cauliflower bake isn't exactly high-end, but if I took the tofu and some of these peppers... Climbing up while reaching further back into the pantry, I felt my feet begin to lose their grip. I slipped and stumbled against the shelving, feeling myself beginning to fall. Come Caught on, Bone by Daddy. Your wife. Come on, Bone Caught Daddy. By <laughs> Caught by your boy. Caught by your boy. Caught by your boy. Oh, no, no, no! With a thud, I fell backwards, and for my fur ruffling into the spectral arms of my husband. Yep. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> oh, whoa, wait. Honey, what's going on? You look like you're about to blow a fuse in here. <laughs> Don't you see? It's the food! <laughs> if we need more food, I can just run back to the store real quick, babe. Barky, it's not just how much food, it's the quality. Pumpkin pie, extra firm tofu, cauliflower from the sales section! <laughs> I like the cauliflower, though. That's not really what I meant. Look, Bella said her girlfriend was from a witching family. That means high class, traditional Halloween dishes with brains and eyeballs and all of that. Meanwhile, all we've got is a bunch of vegetables and a slab of tofu. Good for a little homestyle vegan food, but no way to impress your daughter's girlfriend. Especially not in a little house that people think is still equipped. Oh. Bark Bartholomew looked at the floor for a moment, tail listing along with his gaze. Bella had never brought any girlfriends home before now, and even if it was last minute, making a subpar meal was out of the question. Alrighty then, let's improvise. The bar guest <laughs> jumped back into the kitchen and was going through the grocery bags he'd placed on the countertop just minutes prior. I followed out, feeling a surge of self-confidence coming back to me. Of course, my husband is doing awesome things. Yes, good husband. You said brains, right? Well, uh, cauliflower is sort of brain-shaped. And uh, tofu. Tofu can be used for the eyes. It might be a bit hard to make into a ball, though. I fluttered around him, feeling more and more animated with each word. With a snap, I popped open one of the utensil drawers as well and started searching. We can use an ice cream scoop for the tofu. A small one should work wonders. As for the brains, the shape is good, but the color isn't quite right. Maybe... My mind felt like it was finally kicking into gear as each item was shaped onto the counter. Barky had a tendency to make every idea feel like a good one. Emotional support himbo. That's... <laughs> I ran back to the pantry and brought back a bunch of jars, placing them down with everything else. Some kind of tomato sauce for the brain will look nice and ghoulish, don't you think? And some black olives and peppers for the eyes. To give them that classical dead stare reminds me of those fancy dinners at my mother's table. Oh, oh, and maybe I could get some cider for the kids, too. Deep red and bloody, just like our wine. That's perfect. Oh, but will you have time? I can sprint there and back, no problem. It'll be just 15 minutes, I problem. I, I problem. I, I problem. problem. I, I identify as a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I am a problem. It'll be just 15 minutes, I promise. My husband practically leaped out of the kitchen, pulling his shoes back on, tail wagging with excitement. He was going for a walk. Who doesn't love going walkies? for a walk? Walkies? 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 <laughs> We were both starting to get on in the years, but he had been taking exceptional care of his body with exercise all the same. Okay, babe, see you in a bit. Bye, Bone I got Daddy. the zoomies. I got the <laughs> zoomies. The zoomies. <laughs> with a kiss on the cheek and a slam of the screen door, I could see him galloping down the driveway and out towards the main road. Now that's a man who knows what he's doing with his zoomies. <laughs> Our little he labor zooms head. with purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Our little neighborhood was a bit out of the way, but he always made the trip down to the grocery short if his grocery feels so short. Back in the kitchen, I put everything together into small piles and started to consider the best approach for the moment. Tofu eyeballs, cauliflower brains, brains, and some blood red cider. Listen, and of course, we can't say brains right because neither of us have it at the moment. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> some pumpkin pie is dessert. Well, 
It's not going to be very gourmet, but the appetizer and the main dish should still come together fine. Really, how much difference is this just from what I was going to do anyways? I reached for the ingredients Barky had brought home earlier, but stopped short. My hands were shaking uncontrollably. The knowledge that so much needed to be done in such a short period of time was getting to me, no matter how many pep talks my husband could give. I wiped my eyes a bit. The kitchen felt like it was moving beneath my feet, but every second that passed was another second closer to my daughter and her girlfriend coming home. We got this, Beepy. No need to panic, Winnie. Just stay grounded. I know it's difficult because you're bad, but you can do it. Echolocation! Echolocation! With a huff, I turned back to the pile of groceries and took notice of the thin black bottle that Barky had purchased as well. Blood wine. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't drink. You know Don't drink and cook. Don't drink and cook. A pause. It was supposed to be a treat for later in the evening, but that didn't mean a sip or two now. <laughs> to call my nerves wouldn't be acceptable. No! Don't God do it. it! With a pop, I removed the cork and poured. I swished it within the glass and after a sniff took a drink. In just a few seconds, I felt my cheeks getting warm and a gentle burn was in my throat. Blood may not have been a requirement to live as a vampire bat, but it was certainly a wonderful treat. Oof. Well, good stuff, Barky. When he gets home, I'll have to give him a treat of his own. This is some high-quality blood. Oof. The bottle rattled as it went back down onto the counter. I was feeling a good deal more confident now. My eyes turned back to the task at hand. Okay, then. All right. Ugh. So how about the eyeballs? That ice cream scoop should give just about an eyeball in terms of shape and size. But what about the presentation? The peppers and olives could look like an iris and pupil. But how could I make it stick together? I guess ginger should work. I applied the ingredients together as best as I could in general eyeball shape, then stuck a small toothpick through the center, hope through the center to hopefully hold it in place until I could until it could, I could stand? No, until it could stand. Uh, I you had a little bit too much of that blood oh. wine, I think. Oh. Still, I was sweating. I had already lost 5 minutes on the appetizer. <sighs> A hand reached for the glass. A hand reached for the God glass of wine damn it. and quickly let me take another small sip. My shoulders shiver with the gulp, but I pressed on. Oof. Oh. God damn it, Winston. Oh. All right, now that's done. There's a matter of the cauliflower. It's supposed to be the main dish. It's supposed to be the main dish. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. A, a tomato sauce will work fine for that. Yes tomato sauce. Um, uh, I, sh I should probably still heat it up. Oven? Oven has the pie in there, but a microwave should be fine, right? A can of tomato sauce was quickly opened onto the cauliflower, and with a small spoon, I poured it everywhere I could. The white and red together would hopefully have a brain-like effect once it was done heating up. Into the microwave it went, <laughs> as I gently cradled vegetables into its depth before entering cradle? Yeah. Before entering yeah. In, in the time and letting it run. I'd been making good progress, but suddenly I felt shaky all over again. I took another No! God damn it! Witty, why? I took another slow sip of the little glass of blood wine. And then another. But each one didn't seem to be helping me anymore. I looked back at the bottle forlorn. Oh dear. I... I might have... Overdone it just a little bit. Perhaps a couple oh minutes gosh. of rest. Yeah. All right. Just while the main course finishes itself off. Oh, honey, no. Abe. Oh, it's supposed to be you. Babe. 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 My eyeballs blinked slowly until I woke with a start. My head bumping up against Bark Molly. <laughs> Bark Bark Tholomew's jaw. We rebounded off of each other with a sharp noise echoing out. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, hold on, honey, bring it down a notch. Everything's fine. They have plenty of that vegan friendly cider at the store. A little food coloring and bam, we got bloody drinks for our under twenty one guests, am I right? My head was still cloudy, though through squinting eyes I turned about until I could see the clock on the wall. 
We had little less than 15, perhaps even just 10 until dinner would be served. But somehow, despite the urgency of the moment, I dozed off. No, no, no. I can't believe this. All I did was take a sip. How strong is that stuff, Barky? How strong is... Oh, wait. He seemed to have just noticed the open bottle of wine on the countertop, along with a small glass I'd poured out. Small glass? Are you saying, like, the bottle? Or... <laughs> yeah, okay. We're good. The glass is about half empty now. Is it just the glass? Are you sure it's not the bottle? <laughs> he picked it up and gave it a sniff before downing the rest of it. He turned to me with a small smile. Okay, so Winnie is just you know, you're the male a equivalent You can't have me. too much at once or you start getting sleepy. But no worries. They should all be good to go. We should be all good to go now, right? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> just as he said that, our smoke oh, alarm started fine. beeping over and over. Yep. I should have done beep, no, beep, beep. Fly. Inside, it was smoking, and Barky ran forward, popping it open with a hiss and a billow of haze poured into the kitchen. With a cough, I stumbled over to the windows and started airing out the room, with Bartholomew standing meekly to the side with an offering item with the offending item on the stove. The crisis had been adverted, but the pumpkin pie I'd been making from scratch early in the Aww. day was no more. Charred. Burned to a crisp. Completely ruined. I ruined it all. Oh, Barky, I'm so, so sorry, honey. Hey, it's okay. Look, the eyes and the brain are still good. You did really well with those while I was out. Listen, we don't really need a dessert for Halloween night, right? I'm the dessert. <laughs> I am a snack, after all. <laughs> it's not it. It's just I feel horrible like a horrible, horrible dad. Oh, oh honey, no. But it's true. <laughs> I ruined our daughter's first night back home. I can't cook. I made a huge mess. And I don't even know how you're supposed to make a good vegan food. And she was so excited to introduce her fancy new girlfriend to us. And I just made the whole thing fall apart. Oh, he's so cute. Uh. I felt myself slide down to the floor as the of the kitchen as tears stung my eyes. I was sniffling, feeling utterly pathetic, and but unable to stop. After a moment, I felt Bartholomew kneeling down next to me. He gently stared, stared, st oh, started to pet my head. Okay, I, I can read. Until I finally <laughs> looked towards him. He had a soft but worried smile on his face. What's really going on, Winnie? I drank too much wine. <laughs> <laughs> he reached forward and with a gentle motion wiped the tears from my cheeks dinner doesn't work out what do you have afraid it's gonna happen why are you so frightened of not impressing this mossy girl I, I don't know dear maybe it's more that if we don't make everything perfect I'm afraid that Bella won't want to come home anymore oh and I, I don't know if I can bear that. She's only been gone a couple months and I miss seeing her so much and well. When I left home, it was like my relationships with my parents ended. We still talked, but it was different. And now, I don't know how to stop the same thing from happening to her. To us. It was so scary being a dad at first and we figured it out bit by bit. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do now that she doesn't need me anymore. I know what you mean, babe. I do. Bartholomew held me. He buried my face in his chest into his Bone Daddy t-shirt. And I felt my tears falling a bit by bit onto his tank top, his, his Bone Daddy shirt. After a long silence, he started to speak again and I could feel a change in his voice. It was more careful. He didn't want to say, he didn't want to say this wrong. Coming out. Growing up without a mom or dad was rough. Gonna be pushing 45 soon enough, but I still think about that sometimes. My uncle was a good man, but he didn't know how to raise a kid. Not really. So when you and I got married, I thought that was going to be the best day of my life. I couldn't imagine anything else making me as happy as being with you. But then we adopted Bella, and it was like something changed. 
You made me so happy, honey, but she made us a family. She made me whole. She made us whole, like we were always meant to be. Look at that tail wag. Every That's time. So That's a good boy. So, no matter who Bella decides to be, or who she's with, we'll still be her family. And we'll always love her. That is never gonna change. Oh my god, Barky, you're gonna make me cry again! We stayed on the floor for a minute, embracing and emotionally drained. But somehow, Mostly hung over. Yeah. <laughs> somehow, I felt a lot better now. Barky himself had been getting teary-eyed during his talk. Excuse me. But it made me so happy to know that he felt willing to share all that with me, too. And who's to say this dinner is even ruined? We can still turn this around! It's just a few minutes, and I'll, I'll think of something, I promise. Honk honk. Oh, oh. there you go. <laughs> Hide the pie. <laughs> On it. We scrambled up from the floor, making sure the windows were open and the fans were blowing as much to get the smoky smell out of the apartment as possible. With a sigh and a squeeze shared between us, we smiled and opened the door. Dad! Why? I, I love I her. Mean, so much. And the flaming hair, just the best That's thing ever. Adorable. Bella, we missed you, sweetie. Come on in. We're so glad you made it home all safe. <laughs> from the front porch and uh, into the kitchen, our daughter was hopping from foot to foot in her favorite bomber jacket. What drew my eye, however, Aww. was the arm held by her guest. Was the arm okay? The young witch that would be dining with us as well, well, was, bleh. the young witch that would be dining with us was, well, shy as anyone I'd ever met. Perfect, so you were doing the voice right. She's so cute. She was wearing classical witching clothes, but they seemed to be genuinely hand-woven from wool, rather than purchased from a designer. A few cute flowers also softened the entire look. Hastily hidden behind her was a small picnic basket, but she seemed to be some become flustered when I stared at it. Aww. But my attention and Barky was quickly drawn. My attention and Barky's was quickly drawn back to our daughter. Look at Look that! Look at hug. that hug! That's such a good hug. She ran forward and gave us both a big hug, squeezing as tight as she could as the door closed out, and we all meandered towards the dinner table and the dinner table in the kitchen. Oh my god, it's so good to see you both! Uh-oh. Hello. Duh, totally forgot to introduce my super cute, super soft, super amazing super new girlfriend, Mozzie. Pow, pow, bam! Check her out! She's got it all! Smarts and looks, right, you guys? Oh my god, poor Mozzie. Love them. Oh, Mozzie, I understand your pain. <laughs> nice to meet you both. Bella tells me a lot all about you two, so it's wonderful to see her parents in person. Oh, of course. It's a delight to have you here with us, Mozzie. I hope you enjoy your stay. In the meantime, Barky, we should probably get the dinner going right away. Yeah, you're right. The four of us gathered around the small table in the kitchen, um, while I panicked in the back and probably drank more wine, with probably. Bella eagerly setting it with plates and utensils as quick, quickly as quick as she could. What? Moth again mm -hmm. herself seemed to be hesitant, but Barky helped put her at ease, inviting her to sit. I thought, okay, I'm, I'm confused. Inviting her to sit between them and Bella with a glass of cider conversation was well underway when I started doing bring, to bring the dishes out. Um, yeah. I'm currently studying applied witchery, which of course requires a culinary course. It seemed interesting, so I went with Nutrition 101, which was mostly made up of sports people. And of course, uh, Bella was studying sports science, so, so sort of by coincidence we became friends. 
And uh, more than friends, girl, we became besties like right away, Dad. Studying, hanging out in the quad, the whole deal. We were basically inseparable, which is why I knew we'd be a great fit once I asked her out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was the one who asked you out, cutie. <laughs> oh, look at her. You're ready in the face! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a bro. <laughs> well, maybe you did. But I was totally gonna invite you to coffee the next day, or week, or maybe the next month. <laughs> well, I'm glad your time together has been so wonderful, regardless of how it took shape. That said, do you like your classes so far, Mozzie? Bella has told, told us all about her time in sports science, and it's clear she's found a passion there. Um, yeah. Pitching is fine, I guess. My family's been asking me to pursue it for a long time, so I don't want to let them down, you know? Ahem. With my stool brought over to the table and all the dishes assembled, I climbed up and with a couple of hops, I was able to swing myself up to the ceiling. It was a bit of an extra effort, but eating was always much more pleasant upside down, at least in my experience. Plus, that blood wine was still making me feel dizzy while standing upright. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but we've got some vegan traditional Hallow's Eve dishes ready to be served. I hope you enjoy them all. Come on, let's eat already. I'm starving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I only had airport food today. I need some vegan goodness. <laughs> Yay. Happy Halloween, everyone! Quite so. Now, our appetizer this evening... Oh, I gotta pick. Our appetizer this evening is a classic. Eyeballs, with a tofu twist, of course. <laughs> Dig it. <laughs> the mix of tofu and olives plated together with some ginger to keep it all mashed were spooned out into various plates. Sparky was the first to take a bite, and I noticed his smile turned a, bit, <laughs> turned a bit pained as he bit in. I braced myself as well and chomped down on the appetizer. Did you forget to take the... Did you forget to take the I the think you forgot out? to take the toothpicks out. At first, it didn't taste too bad, but a bitter perhaps not unusually... But a bitter perhaps, but not unusually so for such a small dish. But with every chew, I felt my jaw slowing down, my body openly rejecting the meal oh. itself. Maybe it's just that they're just, it's just, you know. Yeah, they just don't do well with vegan meals, maybe. Truthfully, it wasn't a bit bitter. It was only bitter. The black olives were a mistake to pair with a pepper, and the tofu was just absorbing all the bite of ginger had, all the bite the ginger had, too. It was almost untenable? Unten yeah. And I had a gulp hefty glasses of cider to work it down. With trepidation, my eyes turned over to Bella. While Bartholomew and I were taking our own time with each piece, she had already cleaned her plate and was landing more, on, ladling up more onto it. Aww. Her fiery jaw was chomping them down like no tomorrow. Apparently ravenous. The airport cuisine had potentially had potentially been a blessing in disguise. Mothigan, on the other hand, seemed to be eating very delect delicately. Yeah. She had only Aww. taken one, the one eyeball onto her dish and was cutting it extremely small before eating each slice with her knife and fork. That's adorable. Her expression was pleasant, but I couldn't be certain if it was just politeness. It's probably politeness. Just accept It's probably it. politeness. Winnie? Babe? You okay? Huh? Huh? What was that? The uh, rest of the proof can probably come out next, right? We don't want to serve. Just serve the eyeballs without the main course. He leaned forward and whispered in a hush, brisk tone. Man, I could really, really use a palate cleanser. Oh, right, yes. Um, next up, brains. Brains. A heated cauliflower and tomato mix for a gory delight. Please, have a taste and feel free to, feel free to share your thoughts. Eh, Mozzie? Eh, Mo? Mozzie? Hey? Eh, yeah? Mo? Yeah? Mo? How you feeling? The cauliflower looked a good deal better than the eyeballs, all told. The brain effect was somewhat lost as the red sauce hadn't quite filled out each ridge as well as planned. That said, Barky seemed much happier with this than the pot than the prior dish. I lifted it to my mouth. The texture was wrong, right off the bat. 
I had brains a few times when I was a child at some fancy events, but this didn't taste anything like that. But still, it was not unpleasant. The tomato and cauliflower was coming together pretty well, all told. But then again, it definitely wasn't what you'd expect from a main course. A bake may have been a better choice after all. It, it was all it was. Eh? As it was, this was just the sauce and veggies heated up. Still, the girls were tucking in it. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Still, the girls were tucking into it a good deal, despite my misgivings. The dinner had been a failure in being any kind of high-end culinary go gourmet. But, at the very least, they both seemed to be enjoying their time with it. Or each other. Aww. A smile came to my face as they finished their plates, apparently satisfied with the meal. They went to McDonald's after it. No. Um. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was lovely. Thanks so much for making. Thanks for making it so. Ugh. Thanks for making so much of it, dads. And there went my Kleenex box. The campus food is fine, but they never know how to capture that classic home cooking flavor. Not enough love in each dish. You know what I mean? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. The flavor profiles were unusual, but I think the bitter and savory balanced out with all the tofu and cauliflower in the end. You liar! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mozzie, she's so cute. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, this is a lovely dinner. Phew! Well, oh, I'm glad to hear it. You have no idea how much I was drinking. No, I'm glad to hear it. It was really just something we threw together. No big deal, right, dear? Right, dear? Yeah, you're down to fuck ton of alcohol first, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, no big deal. It wasn't even a fuck ton, it was half a glass! It's like my life! Lightweight. <laughs> Wait, but dinner isn't over yet. Mossy, sweetie, didn't you want to have them try out your dish? The moth witch, seemingly so hasty to get up from the table, immediately froze. All her fur started to stand on ed f edge f and fluffing up across her body. That would be adorable. Aww. With a blush and a squeak, her wings unfolded and she dove under the table. Perfect. All right, I, I understand this. Barky and I looked at each other in surprise. Oh no, Sweeney, I'm sorry. I, I didn't... I wasn't trying to pressure you. It's just you were so excited on the way over. You said you really wanted to share your food with my folks. Uh, I, I know, but... The table is tied. I, I, I don't want to upstage him. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to scrub your dinner. This is your family, and my stupid dessert shouldn't get in the way of you guys having a good time. Okay. Is it a pumpkin pie? It better be a pumpkin pie. Is it a pumpkin pie? I feel like Please it's a pumpkin, be a pumpkin pie. pie. Bartholomew turned to me with a sad, wry smile on his muzzle. I nodded and climbed down onto the floor, leaning down under the table to talk to Mozzie. Despite everything, I felt confident in this because I understand you. <laughs> And I realize my daughter has gone and found someone who's like me. Perfect. <laughs> Mozzie, when our daughter said you were coming, I'll admit we were we also got a bit nervous. Just a bit. I'm looking at you, Barky. We I understood. Didn't, we didn't know how you'd react to our little meal here. But it made me so happy to know that Bella had someone special in her life she wanted to share with us. No matter what happens, as long as you're at this table, you're family, okay? Quite so. If you have something you want to share with us, we're more than happy to indulge. Please don't be better than mine. Mozzie closed her wings and slowly came out from under the table. She, she busied herself for a moment before bringing out the basket she'd been holding after coming in. Her face was still filled with a heavy blush, but she seemed to be brimming with a fascinating excitement. Aww. With a flourish, she removed so a blanketed covering, re revealing a ghoulish face beneath set deep into a pie dish. With just a whiff, I could tell it was going to be an absolutely stunning dessert. A brown sugar, brown sugar and baked fruit filled ah, as brown sugar and baked fruit filled my nostrils. Words are hard. Yeah, they're kind of difficult. This is an old take 
a take on an old recipe my grandmother taught me. Base pie with cherries and blackberries as the filling. No eggs, no milk. Of course, I, I wanted to make sure it kept with Bella's diet. Oh, this looks so good, Mozzie! Uh, thank you, dear. I haven't really had anyone try it yet, though. My family doesn't really care about home cooking. In fact, they've kind of been pushing me to go witching instead of pursuing culinary school. Oh! But it might not be very good, so you don't need to force yourselves to eat it. Bartholomew smiled at me and I nodded. Our little disaster from earlier just might have come in handy after all. Actually, Mozzie, this pie looks like just the thing we need. We were actually going to make it dessert too, but, well, <laughs> you can come and see how our pumpkin pie turned out. Turned black as a cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... I thought it smelled a bit smoky in here, but I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, that was my fault. Wait, we have two pies? You didn't tell me? Oh my god. Oh my god, she will eat anything, won't well, she? Well, yes, but it's basically not crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Before we could even stop her, Bella had pulled two slices out of each pie and was biting down on them bit by bit. The burned out pumpkin pie seemed to catch even further fire as it entered her <laughs> while Mozzie's fruity pie seemed to just brown a bit. Despite that, however, she seemed to be enjoying them both equally. She'd never been a picky eater, but after spending enough time away from home, it had somehow slipped my mind how often we just had to stop her from eating charred toast or burned veggie bits. <laughs> Oh, this is so good, Mozzie! I can't believe you didn't let me have some of this, Dads! You know how much I love my extra, my food extra well done! We do. But we try not to serve it that way to guests. I suppose it did slip our minds that you had a preference for the more, smol for the more smoldered side of things. I could have just thrown this in front of you. Huh. <laughs> Indeed. Oh! You don't need to try eating ours, Mozzie. It really isn't edible for anyone that doesn't have a furnace going inside their guts. Well, if you insist, but Bella makes it look so good. Bella makes everything look good. <laughs> Even nothing. <laughs> we gathered around the table and each enjoyed the pie that Mothigan had prepared. Okay, so the name was Mothigan. That's what confused me. So I'd yeah. been reading Mozzie, and then I saw yeah. Mothigan, and I'm like, what is that? Oh, okay, had prepared hugging one another and joking the whole while. It was delicious, as expected, but the nostalgia and warmth that the table seemed to hold with all of us here was much more filling than I'd ever anticipated, because love was here with the family all along. It's all about family. Did somebody say family? <laughs> family! <laughs> Years ago, we'd adopted Bella. Bartholomew said that it made us whole. But at least tonight, I could feel the wholeness gaining a whole new depth. No, don't say a, a new depth. I added I whole that. again for the hell of it. Oh Our family God. was all here tonight, this Halloween evening. And as we shoveled slice after slice of pie into our mouths, we realized how much we would not scale ourselves in the morning. Uh, we found family <laughs> in one another. And we realized how just, just how drunk I was. Aww. That was so good. It was so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, since she's made a fire, you know, that kind of, yeah, defeats everything needed. <laughs> I loved it. That was so good. It was so cute. Did, were any, did any of the um, the creators show up here for saying hellos I and stuff? I do not know. <gasps> there you are. I am. I so good. I really hope you didn't mind how I probably butchered your imagination for the voices. Um, uh, Listen, I am so sorry. Uh, no, I am so sorry. That was just high-end valley girl for Bella. I, was, I, I went for it, and I'm very sorry, but that was a choice. <laughs> um, I I resonated with Winnie quite well. Um, that voice was like, nope, that's 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 me. That's me. Why why am I why am I? Oh, in that was this? so good. How did you know me as a 49 year old gay dad? Um, <laughs> 
that that's would be me if I was a forty nine year old gay dad. Let me just tell that's you. Fair. I <laughs> I really like Mozzie. Mozzie's so cute. They were adorable. Mozzie's like, just and then the blush. blush, the blush was so cute. The blush. All the, like the art was perfect. The music was perfect. I heard different musical transitions in there, which were all well done. Mm -hmm. Um. All in all, this was a really good experience. That was a lot of fun to explore. Um, my only complaint would be that I wanted it to be longer, which I don't even know yeah. if that counts as an, a complaint. Um, it was a very good story. And it, it made me so feel good. warm. Um, so good. I hope everyone enjoyed this. I guess that's it for... I, I, I usually have two games ready if this one gets short but I guess this one I thought it would be a bit longer <laughs> here's the here's the link to the uh and I have tears in my eyes that the I game really jam go go give it go give it some stars it was so good yeah um expect a review and the rating to come very shortly uh that was a very good experience thank you um everyone don't forget if you haven't yet to check out as well all that ails you um, that one is our project and we would love it if you'd check it out but that was uh, Scary Gourmet and we will probably mm, I'm going to see if anyone wants to join me tomorrow and if no one wants to join me tomorrow I will probably do this again on Monday instead but we're going to be back with more games from the Game Jam Hell see yeah. you then we'll see you guys then thank you so much have a great day